this video we're going to again multiply, add and subtract integers and we'll do uh, example 8, I'll, we'll do the first one together and you do the next one and example 9 um, we'll, I'll, we'll do this one together and then you try this one by yourself Okay. so let's start with example 8 part A It's please write this down 13 minus 3 square bracket negative 5 minus 7 times negative 1 and again the square bracket is just another type of parenthesis okay. okay so when we're when we've got lots of different parentheses what we need to do is uh, because we're following the order of operations and when we've got lots of different parentheses what we need to do is we need to obviously figure out what's inside the parentheses first right and when we go inside here We've got, we've got this. Now in this parenthesis there's just a negative one so there's nothing to work out inside that this you know regular parenthesis. So we work out what's inside the square bracket first. Right. Tell me why we don't just go 13 minus 3 gives 10. What would be wrong with that? Why can't we just do 13 minus 3 gives 10? Right. See the order of operation subtraction and addition come at the end. Right. Subtraction and addition come at the end multiplying and dividing so we start with parentheses and then we do exponents then we multiply or divide and then we add or subtract right so starting with parentheses in here we have a negative 5 minus 7 times negative 1 so there's a subtraction and a multiplication in the square bracket right so this is a subtraction, see where it goes minus 7, but then we have a multiplication. So which one of these do we do first, right? right. So we've got to do the multiplication, right? So if you follow PEMDAS, you've got to multiply or divide and then add or subtract, right? So we've got a negative 7 times a negative 1. What does that give? And again, you know, you can just change the subtraction to plus negative. Now it says plus negative 7 times negative 1, right? So negative times negative, positive 7, right? And you can bring that plus sign down if you want, positive 7. So we have negative 5 plus 7 in the square bracket, right? And I guess we could just write there the whole thing again. So we still got to do what's inside the square bracket, don't we? What's negative 5 plus 7? positive 2. Write everything out. Keep going. Should we subtract at this point? 13 minus 3 gives 10. Why or why not? What should we do? Multiply and then subtract or subtract and then multiply? So with the order of operations we've got to multiply or divide then add or subtract. Right? Okay. So we've got a negative 3 times a positive 2 can change that subtraction sign to plus negative and there's negative 3 times positive 2 negative 6 right so 13 minus 6 or 13 plus negative 6 same thing you could have written that way or you could just have 13 minus 6 either way I mean you'll get the answer right so the answer is 7 so please write this one down, press pause and try it yourself. 9 minus 8 square bracket, negative 4 minus negative 2, close square bracket. So pre please press pause, try that one yourself and then we'll do it together. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'll do it now, so we've got to do the square bracket. Right? And inside the square bracket because again we can't just do 9 minus 8 gives 1 because we've got to do parentheses first we've got a negative negative here how about change that to plus plus remember that negative negative equals plus plus right so subtracting a negative is the same thing as giving a positive right so inside here now we have negative 4 plus positive 2. What does that give you? 4 bad guys, 2 good guys. 2 bad guys, negative 2, right? 
9 minus 8 times negative 2. Now do we subtract first or do we multiply? Which? With the order of operations, you got to multiply or divide, then add or subtract, right? So, if you like, you can change that subtraction to plus negative. Now it says 9 plus negative 8 times negative 2, positive 16, right? And 9 plus 16, 25. So let's go on to, we'll do example 9 here, so we'll do this one together and then you can press pause and do this one to get this one by yourself. So please um, write this out, 9 minus 5 square bracket minus 4 parenthesis negative 2 minus 2 minus 7 and in parentheses 4 minus 5, right? So please write it out and we'll do it together. So what should we do first? Well, by the order of operations, we've got to do everything in parentheses first. And we've got two types of parentheses. <coughs> we've got the square bracket, this guy. We've got parentheses here, and also parentheses over here, right? So the thing is we go inside the square bracket do everything in here first. Now when we get inside the square bracket we've got two parentheses. So we've got to start with those, don't we? So we've got to figure this guy out and this guy out and then write, er, write out the whole question all over again. So, let's make that a little smaller here, sorry. So, negative 2 minus 2. Figure that one out. Negative 2 minus 2. You're in debt two dollars, you subtract two dollars. You're at negative two in a number line, you go back two spaces. Or change that to plus negative, and it says negative two plus negative two. Two negatives and two more negatives. How many negatives? Negative four, right? How about four minus five? You have four dollars, you subtract five dollars. You're at four in the number line, you go back five spaces, where are you now? Or change this to plus negative, positive 4 plus a negative 5. 4 positives, 5 negatives. Is that negative 1? Right. So we've done, in so we've done, you know, the parentheses that we're going to do for now for the first step. So now we're just going to write the whole thing out all over again and then take the next step. So This really is the best way to get the right answer. Just step by step, line by line, one step at a time, no rush. So again, we've got to look at parentheses when we're doing the order of operations. And we still have that square bracket. Until everything in the square bracket becomes one number, we still have to work inside there. Okay, so we've got to work inside the square bracket. And inside there we have a negative 4 times a negative 4 minus 7 times negative 1. So we have subtraction, we have multiplication, what do we do now? So we've got to multiply, right? Got to multiply. So what's negative 4 times negative 4? Negative times negative, positive, 16. <laughs> then we have a minus 7 times negative 1. So again, you can just multiply those, because that's the same thing, like the minus is just negative. It's like negative 7 times negative 1. What does that give you, right? Or if you want to, you can change that to plus negative. And now it says 16 plus, plus negative 7 times negative 1, which is positive 7, right? And then write out the whole thing all over again, 9 minus 5, and we're getting closer. So again, we're not subtracting the 9 minus 5, are we? Because that comes at the end. See, subtraction come, uh, addition and subtraction come at the end. We have to get rid of all the parentheses, do all parentheses, do all the multiplications and everything first. We still haven't finished, you see, with this square bracket, this type of parenthesis, because we have to add the 16 and the 7. So the parentheses are not done yet, right? 16 plus 7 is what? 23. Now write out the whole thing again. 5 
minus and a 9 here and we finally done parentheses because it took one two three steps to get everything inside the square bracket figured out that all of that made the number 23 right now what do we do no exponents but we do have a multiplication so we can't do the subtraction of 9 minus 5 because we have a multiplication here see it's 5 times 23 right? 5 times 3 is 15 carry the 1 5 times 2 is 10 and 1 is 11 right now again that's a negative times a positive uh, so you can just write down negative 115 if you want to or you can do this plus negative now it says 9 plus negative 5 times 23 or 9 plus negative 115 okay 9 good guys 115 bad guys what does that give negative more negatives than positive than positives for sure right is it negative 106 right okay so please write this one down part B write that one down and try to do it yourself and then watch the video and we'll go over it together so 10 minus 4 square bracket 3 times negative 1 minus 2 minus 5 times negative 4 minus 4 right so press pause do that one yourself do your best and then we'll go over it together right okay I hope we've pressed pause and tried it I'll go over it now so again following PEMDAS we've got to do parentheses first and we have a square bracket see that we have the square bracket inside the square bracket there are more parentheses these guys so we gotta do these guys first this one then this one Okay. so negative 1 minus 2 I'm in debt a dollar I subtract 2 I'm more in debt or you could do this plus negative negative 1 plus negative 2 1 negative and 2 negatives is 3 negatives then this one negative 4 minus 4 again we could if you want you could think about a number line here's a number line here's 0 here's negative 4 if you go back 4 you get further down the negative part of the number line to negative Eight, right? Or you could do this plus negative, negative four plus negative four, four negatives and four negatives, eight negatives, right? And now fill out the whole thing again. Just write it all out. We got the negative five, we got the three here, we got this, we got a four, a subtract, a ten. See that? And we like we still have to do all the parentheses first because we've got to do everything inside the blue square bracket see the parentheses that has that's not done yet so got to do everything inside the parentheses still right in there we've got 3 times negative 3 negative number negative 9 right then we have negative 5 times negative 8 and you can just write down plus whatever that is right or you can do this plus negative now it says negative 9 plus and there's a negative 5 times negative 8 which makes positive 40 right and write it out again and we still have to figure out what's inside the parentheses so we're still on the parentheses stage of PEMDAS we're still on the parentheses stage of PEMDAS because we haven't figured out the square bracket yet negative 9 plus 40 9 bad guys 40 good guys 31 good guys right and do we subtract now or do we multiply which comes first multiply or subtract gotta follow the order of operations we gotta multiply before we can subtract multiply negative 4 times 31 31 4 multiply it 4 times 1 is 4 4 times 3 is 12 1 2 4 okay it's a negative so negative 1 2 4 or if you want to you could do this plus negative 
negative four times that is uh, negative one two four and then you have ten plus that okay ten positives plus one hundred twenty four negatives gives what negative something because there's more negatives right negative one one four 